through the players' entrance right now at the arena. Orlando Magic. That's where the players pull up. We got my boy Mac in the building tonight. We're about to get some behind the scenes. He's gonna be in the dunk contest again. We're gonna see if we can come up with some cool concepts, create some ideas. Recovery? Yeah, that's the thing. I'll um like you have to ramp it up. Like I'm not dunking like beginning of the season, I'm not like windmill yeah, yeah, yeah. between legs. Like I ramp it up, like when I get the news about this, I come in, I'm like I got this many weeks to get my bounce back up and do this and here, like, because you can't do it all year round, like, yeah, yeah, especially, yeah. you know, as you get older. Yeah, at least like I'm gonna try to get two dumps. I haven't, I think, um, it's hard, like, all my dumps I know I could make, they're gone, you know, now I have to, like, take a risk with some tougher dunks, so. Yeah, yeah. But we have, we have a couple ideas that I think will be cool and slow yeah. for sure. I thought you got your bounce up. Oh, no, no, I did, I did, I hit a windmill. Oh, okay. I did hit a windmill, yeah. off the self lob though. Okay. Man, I was on a mission to really get my bounce up. Mm -hmm. I was like, every day I was working out, trying yeah. to like, figure it out. Mm -hmm. you know, and then I eventually did it, and I was like, damn. And I kind of just stopped doing the, the workouts. But I, I can still probably catch a dunk. I'm just a small dude, man. I'm like 5'9". You start on these rocks? You use these before? Are you grabbing them with your toes? Or are you You're just walking over them. Go through a little breathing course, a little meditation to start. Working on my breathing. I usually go four in and six out. Probably three or four of those. Just clearing all my thoughts. Just kind of just feeling like, feeling my toes, feeling my hands, feeling so my breath. Is this what you're doing before the dunk contest? Before the dunk contest? Yeah, I think it's important to have the same kind of routine yeah. in everything. Yeah, before a game, before anything I really do, like, I really like it's important to have that like schedule with yeah, yourself, you know? Yeah, 100%. Then I'll head over here. I'll leave this right here. Are you doing this like every day? Every day, for sure. Every day? Yeah, I feel like it's hard to really tell if something works unless you've done it for months or, you know, weeks. So yeah. I really like to like, if I find something that works for me to stay healthy, I've I'm on it every day. You can't ever have an off day where it's like, and you probably know this, like the worst thing you can do is do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to- You feel like guilty. Go guilty. I do. Yeah. I feel like I just wasted an opportunity of a day to put in some work. Yeah. I think your body too, like it always has to be like woken up to a certain level, even on your days of rest, like I'll I'll come in and do my flow and run up and down the court a couple times. You can you can save your body and still activate it and it's gonna like recover even more. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we just have some breathing techniques, um, kind of. Get loose. Discipline, bro. You heard the man, he does it every day. Gotta do that if you wanna make it to the next level, man. Every day. Discipline, very important. You know, as I get older, like, I'm never coming here to bench 315 or squat a lot of things. Like, I don't even do deadlift or anything really besides my upper body with weight. Like, everything else is like, you know, holding, you know, certain positions and certain body weight exercises just to kind of stay healthy and yeah. stay light. I think the world is kind of understanding like how important repetitive jumps and yoga and stretching is compared yeah. to like that strength. Like you see a guy like Trey Young or Don Morant who aren't like, oh man, those guards aren't huge, but like they're strong, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so let me just show you, man. Like, especially in the game of basketball, you know, I don't think we need to lift like with football players at all. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And right here, you just, it's a little balance beam. Just, Hands open, touchdown, come back. Added something to my routine this year. It was really cool. Um, so like, you know when you get done playing or you get done, uh, you know, working out or something, you're all like, your adrenaline, your dopamine's all luck. One thing I, I learned from this guy here, he was like, stay off your phone for the next like 10 minutes. So we go 10 minutes of meditation after. And you know, when you go right back to your phone, it's like the dopamine, shoots up even more, you know what I mean? So when you settle down and meditate, like that's like how your body like gets in the recovery yeah. mode. And it's like helped me incredibly. Man. If you ever want to try that or just test it out, it's like, it's an incredible thing how much faster you recover when you don't go straight to more dopamine. You, know, you shut your body down and meditate. And it's just, it's, it's been great for me if you ever want to try it. So I'll just do a couple here. I, I do a lift every day just for practice, but um, just really just showing you what I do just to kind of get activated. Yeah. Um, it doesn't take long at all. I'll start out with this. I usually do them for like 10 seconds each. I'll start off with my, my foot taps. If I go to my one, my one foot, I'll give three hops. I'll pop on the third hop. And then 
I'll get out there, take some practice dunks, and try to get to it. That's how Mac McClung warms up before hitting the gym. Let's go see what he's doing on the court. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a couple practice times and figure out how I'm gonna do this. I can't even imagine what he's gonna do in this year's dunk contest. Me and Mac just did a little alley-oop video for the NBA. It turned out super fire. Now we're gonna kind of go through Mac literally just practicing some dunks. Did the whole warm up and everything. Now he's gonna throw some dunks down. Um, pretty much a practice for the dunk contest. So this dunk, you're not really gonna be telling what it, what it is until slow mo. It's like it's kind of like I can see a resemblance when I'm trying to set up a crazy trick shot. You know, to Max setting up a crazy dunk. Interesting. It's like that. He like let go of the ball. Dude, it's like a, it's like a magician bringing a lot of creativity to the game, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. You want to you do the same as last year? So, right now we don't know what we're going to open up with or not. Right. Um, I mean, if you get super consistent with that, you can open them up with that and just put them on their heels immediately. There's the one that you like, the one come up here. Then come back around to left. So, going into the dunk contest, it's very strategic. You want to pick dunks for each round. That gets you all your points that you need to get to pretty much the finals. So it's cool to see them strategically figuring out which dunk they're gonna do per round. Now we just gotta decide second and third. Third and first. That's disgusting. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, it'll look cool to jump it over somebody, but. No, that's what I'm talking about. I might be able to get it three times if I just go off the dribble. So we're six yeah, weeks out from the dunk contest. Um, you're you still just preparing and figuring out the strategic route. I'm trying to like give my input. Cause I like, I'm not a dunker like Mac, but I have a feel I think for what people enjoy to see on social, so. Oh. But the angle, I like you facing me so you can see where I'm. Yeah, because you were, you're winded up now before you were not winded up. Yeah, yeah, because I hit you on the wind up. So once, yeah. you see I, so once you see I take it, you can move. I think that one's dangerously hard. Hey! Hey! People that hoop are gonna know how difficult that is. I just gotta be able to make them, man. It's I mean, like, you're gonna make them. It's tough. I mean, I really gotta practice, like we were saying. Like last year, we had to well, go to work. I mean, like last year, you did the work. So yeah. I don't think your work ethic's changing already. Right? Yeah, I don't think so. So you're good to go. All right, we'll keep thinking on it. Keep adjusting. I appreciate everybody coming today, man. Thank you guys. I don't know about that. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir.